my rally is a free speech rally. So Colton Merwin, the organizer, he invited everyone to talk about free speech, and a bunch of people signed on, Jack Brasobiec, Laura Loomer, uh, me, and a few others, uh, Baked Alaska. Uh, but then Richard Spencer got added to the bill, so a few people dropped off, uh, didn't want to be associated with him. And then a lot of infighting amongst the right wing started, so they began a rival rally. So now there's one at the White House, there's one at the Lincoln Memorial, and now the Antifa and the radical left are doing two of their own rallies. So it is uh, going to be pandemonium today from all accounts. And uh, with your speaker lineup, it seems like you have a sort of enormous kind of diversity among like what is sort of loosely like the right wing. Like what, what's actually the philosophical thing that, you know, unites you guys? Right, well for our rally at the Lincoln Memorial, the uniting factor is the freedom of speech. Because from me all the way down to Richard Spencer, everybody thinks that you should have the right to speak your mind and that people shouldn't be violently attacked for that. As for the White House rally, uh, that is about, uh, it's against political violence. So um, I guess the focus is the congressman who was shot. Um, so everybody's going to be talking out about that and I guess the radical leftist violence we've seen in the past few months. Uh, as for the Antifa rallies, I have no idea what their uniting purpose is. Um, but ours is freedom of speech at our rally. And at, at the moment, it seems like some of the kind of uh, more radical leftists are gonna show up at yours. What, what's gonna kind of happen? What do you think that confrontation might uh, look like? Well, it could go a number of ways. Um, one is if they show up and it's like Berkeley, we'll just run them out of town. If they show up and it's like we've had in the South, because I've done several of these rallies down in my homeland, um, the cops just keep them in their little corner and they yell and use their air horn and uh, nothing much happens. Um, historically, Antifa are strongest when they're jumping people on their way to the event or leaving the event. They very rarely attack an actual group of people ready for a fight. Um, I guess that's just a, a hyena's way of, of attacking people. But, um, you know, if they show up, the DC police are going to be there. Um, you know, the Boston Police Department was there when we spoke in Boston at the Free Speech Rally and they just stood up on a hill and yelled at us because, you know, no one's going to uh, attack the Boston Police Department to get to us. Um, we had a, a rally in Chapel Hill where uh, that went a little differently because they were allowed on the premises and so they were not kept from us, uh, but they still wouldn't attack us because we had all the guns and we had all the muscles. So. You know, I, if they're stupid enough to attack us, which is what I'm hoping for, uh, we will level them. And uh, what drove you to do this at the Lincoln Memorial specifically? I'm sure that wasn't a, a nice That was not my choice, obviously. Yeah, uh, being a Southerner, uh, being at the Lincoln Memorial, for my first speech in D.C., by the way, is, um, I won't say uncomfortable, but uh, it's a little odd. It, it would not have been my first choice. But um, now that I am here, you know, and I do talk about the Civil War a lot. Uh, I think, you know, the, the theme of my speech is uniting, uniting the right wing. Uh, so Lincoln was a great unifier, you know, no matter how you feel about him as a dictator or, you know, the, the powers he, the liberties he took as president. Uh, the fact is he was trying to unite the United States. Um, Nixon harkened back a lot to Lincoln uh, because he was trying to unify the United States. I think if we can't unify the country, the least we can do is unify the right wing. So that's what I'm talking about. And that's partly because we're giving the speech at the Lincoln Memorial. And uh, to that end, it seems like the sort of goal of Antifa and other leftists is to, is to divide you guys. Do you feel like you guys are divided right now? Quite honestly, yes. And I would take every right wing leader to task on that. Um, there's been a lot of infighting. I've been trying to step in between it because I'm not part of the alt-light and I'm not part of the alt-right. Like, I'm a right-wing libertarian. I have no dog in that fight. Um, but these guys, they just they can't keep their eyes on the mission. And to me, that is a failure of leadership. So, yeah, I mean, the Antifa, I reckon, can take a good amount of credit for that because a lot of people are terrified of being called a Nazi. They know they're not Nazis. The left wing knows these people aren't Nazis, but they say it anyway because no one wants to be called a Nazi. No one wants to be called a white supremacist. And so they say, well, I don't want anything to do with these people because they really are Nazis. And they are getting us to use their own tactics, you know, against ourselves. So yeah, I, 
you have to give credit where credit's due, and the Antifa have made this a shit show today. Is, is someone like Richard Spencer, or on the August 12th one, you have uh, Matt Heimbach, who's basically like a literal national social, like literally a Nazi. Is, is having someone like that really uniting the right? Possibly and possibly not. My uh, position on uniting the right is all you have to do is not hit each other. All you have to do is not attack other people on the right wing. Now, of course, there's the debate, are Richard Spencer and Matt Heimbach actually right wing? Because they believe in certain functions of government that the rest of us don't. I'm agnostic on that. I don't talk about it, certainly not in public. If I had a disagreement with Matthew or with Richard, I would take it up with them man to man. And I wish all the other right wing leaders would do the same. Um, but as far as them being included and the left attacking that event, of course that's gonna happen. The trick is we can't devolve to infighting over it. Now that they are on the roster, 